You are in the temple of the rants, where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by becoming one of those. This one's for Jack is Boy, who says, rant about, ranting about Digibro's homophobia, a video that Jack is Boy made uh, as a parody of my video that was called ranting about the rise of homosexual anime and the way that people inevitably would respond to it. Although, I will say this, while I think this video is funny and it's really not just about the reaction to that video, but just in general the way that people are just looking for something to get mad about and to misinterpret and to, you know, to... to take some famous person and just insist that they are a Nazi or something, um, you know, which this is, this is a much bigger problem than just something that happens to me. But in the case of that actual video, if you were to go read the comments, almost every comment is, oh, Digi bro, you better be careful titling the video something like this. People are going to probably misunderstand. People are going to freak out. But there is no comment of people who are misunderstanding and freaking out. And the one time I saw somebody do it on Twitter, some it was literally somebody just like screen capping the thumbnail, you know, the title and thumbnail and being like, oh, look at this piece of shit. But all the comments on that tweet were people being like, you fucking idiot. If you watch the video, you'll realize that it's not a negative take. If anything, I was literally celebrating the rise of homosexual anime. And of course, the rant hole is just the rant hole and I format all the titles to be ranting about whatever just so you know it's a series. Uh, you know, most of them barely qualify as rants. Usually it's just a ramble more like, but you know, uh, ranting just uh, sounds better and is a better marketing ploy to get people to pay for the videos. So, uh, you know, obviously I knew when I titled it that, that it was in, that it was a title that could be taken that way. Um, if you've, if you know anything about the internet, you know that anger travels fastest. That people click on things that are the most incendiary possible. CGP Grey has a video about this called, uh, This Video Will Make You Angry. Um, just talking about how, you know, if you can make somebody enraged with a title, they will click on it faster. And then a lot of people, you know, once they have clicked on it and they realize that it's not what they thought it was going to be, there's a sense of relief. And they, you know, that chain of emotional reactions that they've had will leave the video in their minds a lot more easily. So, you know, if I give it that incendiary title, people are going to be encouraged to click on it. They're going to hear what I'm actually saying, be relieved, and then be like, you know, wow, I've had such a roller coaster of emotions. This was a memorable experience, you know, as opposed to if I had just titled it something like, uh, I don't even know. I don't know a better title because that was just the first thing that came to mind and it seemed obvious. Um, but yeah, uh, it, outside of this video though, there has been this like constant insistence that I am some type of, you know, po political person that I'm not. Like people will always be saying like, oh, Digi, he's one of those X, but what that is, there's no consistency on. I get made fun of for being a liberal a lot of the time. Then other people make fun of me for being a conservative or get see, seemingly having more conservative values. People think I'm like going to the alt-right or something. And I'm like, I am as like quintessentially liberal as like traditionally liberal as you could possibly be, I think. Um, you know, I tend to... I definitely sway very libertarian in general in that, like, I am extremely believing in, like, personal freedom and personal rights and not having to, um, you know, like, not having censorship in a society that's formulated around... I'm being, like, spied on right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, I, I don't... I don't have really any extreme beliefs one way or another. I'm not, like, a particularly politically-minded person. And moreover, I change my mind about a lot of things politically all the time because I'm somebody who's willing to listen to different people's arguments and say, huh, that is a good argument. I'll, you know, I'm going to consider that a possibility of the truth until I have further evidence to the contrary. Um, I don't really judge people based on their politics. I judge based on how interesting the things they say are, you know, how um, valid their points are. 
um, based on what I know, and then alter that understanding as new information comes to light, you know, or as people can convince me of one thing or another. So, like, when people are telling me things like, oh, that Digibro guy, he's, uh, you know, he's a he's an alt-right dog whistler or something. I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I wouldn't even know what one of those was. Like, I don't participate in anything on the internet. Like, I'm not somebody who's in groups. I'm not somebody who, like, knows what's going on unless somebody makes an analysis video about it, you know? Some people seem to think my association with The Dick Show makes me, like, right-leaning, even though Dick Masterson is transparently a liberal. And if you pay, if you actually watch his show and you're not just, like, falling for the memes... And, like, I mean, he's definitely more fiscally conservative by modern definitions, um, insofar as in the modern internet landscape, the, you know, the, the, the left wants to paint anyone right of extreme left as extreme right, which is fucking ridiculous, um, but, you know, that is how extremists feel. I mean, I'm sure it's the same on the other side. That side's just not as much on the internet, because it's mostly a bunch of fucking boomers, you know? So... You know, the internet discourse about politics has gotten so fucking hilariously ridiculous that now if you don't, like, if you don't believe exactly what another person believes, you must just believe all of the opposite things. You must just be the complete, totally different side from them. You must have this huge cachet of beliefs, you know. Um, I think it should be obvious to anybody who knows anything about me that I am as far from anti-gay as you could possibly be. I even made an album called Gay and Dead, painting myself as, like, you know, a gay character. I've always been extremely pro-trans. I've identified myself as trans in video multiple times, you know, like, uh, most of my friends and stuff are gay or trans. So, like, to, to even think for a minute that the title of my video was, you know, was going to in indicate somebody ranting about how they hate gay anime or something. Like, you'd have to be, you'd have to literally know nothing about me in order to believe that. And, uh, you know, if you don't know anything about me, I'm probably not making videos for you. So I'm not too worried about it, you know. 